In this installment of How to Take Your Trading Profits, we're going to head back to the years 1170 to 1240 of the days of Leonardo Bonacci. There's no need to get into the history of Fibonacci as there's so much on the internet and in published materials about the ratios. The history is not really what is important to us in terms of trading exits. Now, Using Fibonacci ratios can give you exact and objective price points to exit any trade that you're in. Now, the way that we're going to use them is also going to give you one key element that must be present for a chance of trading success, and that's consistency. You're also going to be able to have trade plans that give you the chance to scale out partial profits, hold for an all-out target, and also have a way to measure if the trade has strength to fulfill your objectives. Now, there's two knocks against Fibonacci. Number one, you draw a bunch of lines, one's probably going to get hit. The second one, it's too subjective, which highs and lows to use. Now, I agree with both of them. However, we're going to be using three lines. You could use two, plus our highs and lows are simple to spot. I'm going to detail that later. Now, before I start, the usual disclaimer that you must test, verify, and prove to yourself that this concept makes sense to you. Now, I'm sharing this with you because this is a method I have personally have used over the years, depending on the trade plan I was using. Now, this is not something I personally invented, but I picked it up from a few traders, including the late Mark Braun. Now, we're going to use the 0.786, the 1.272, and the 1.618 in this method, although you can use the 0.50 and 0.618 for objective areas to scale out of your trade. Now, 0.786, this ratio is our confirming ratio. If price fails at this level, we may want to tighten up our stops or exit the trade completely. If this level breaks in the direction of our trade, if the 786 level breaks, we're going to be looking at the 1.272 ratio for profit taking. Depending on strength, the next ratio can come into play now. That is the 1.618. This is another level we're going to monitor when and if price approaches it. Now, before I head to the trade that we've been working on, find below the weekly chart of the very popular Euro USD Forex pair. Now, due to space limitations, I'm only going to work from January 2012 to give you examples, but feel free to head much further back on any instrument. After selling the rally, price breaks the confirming ratio of 0.76, hits the first profit target, and after hitting the second target, it reverses. The next chart, this is the rally after the low and it sets up a long entry. As you can see, price slams through the confirming ratio, slams through the first target, pushes above the second target and then reverses. Now this chart shows that we didn't even hit the confirming ratio before price slams back toward the entry zone. Price forms a double bottom trading pattern, struggles through the confirming ratio before hitting our profit target to the pip before reversing course. The Euro USD is currently heading to the downside, setting up bigger swings and this chart shows some levels on the radar. So how do we draw our fibs? For this method, we are simply measuring the swing into setup and projecting the targets out of the setup. Look at this chart here. The downward arrow shows the swing that we're measuring assuming you trade pullbacks. This is the move into your setup. The move to the upside is what's projected. Now here's the GBP USD trade that we've been covering. Using the same trade as we always have been, I've laid the fibs onto the chart. So what do you see? Was there any concern that the trade was in danger? Price slams through the confirming ratio and busts up to the first target. After about a day of sideways price action and a fake to the downside, price drove up to the final target. Price then dropped, interesting enough, right back to our confirming ratio. Now the keys to trading this are the follows. 0.786. This is the one I watch to see how price reacts. A range, it's not an issue, but a strong reversal signal will have me taking action on the trade. Until price reaches that level, I'm pretty much in set and forget mode. 1.272, the first profit area and a high probability target once price breaks that confirming ratio. 1.618, once risk is reduced or eliminated, this is a great extended target. Now I urge you to go back over your charts and see how this plays out in your ch chosen instrument. I'm going to leave you with this chart of gold and the first retracement after the March 2014 high. You're going to see that price has bottomed out after the second pullback series right at the 1.272 profit area. Good luck. And let me know how the testing goes.